Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it may be for you. For me, it's morning. I'm out here trying a brand new lake again today. Uh, this is only about a 250 acre lake. Another metro lake that I'm going to go kind of see if we can't get into some fish today. I'm feeling like it's going to be a good day. This lake also has muskie in it, so there's a good chance we could hook into one of those. But you never know, so we'll get out there, see what we can do, and uh, we'll have a great day because we're fishing, not working. And that is a great day. We'll see you out there. Well, we got a little crappie. Again, nothing wrong with catching a crappie when you're out fishing. Uh, what I'm using, I'm just using a small little, just a small little jig. Right now, the, the fish are acting really, uh, really finicky. So I'm, I'm, I'm using a real light, real, real light tackle, and just kind of finessing them out of there. I'm gonna slowly move up until I find the uh, the right size for what the fish are really, really wanting. I mean, right now this little one's working great, but we're catching some little fish. So, you know, I'm gonna wanna upgrade this to, to see exactly what the fish in this lake are biting on. And that's a good rule of thumb, you know, if you're fishing a, a new lake and never fished it before, and you're just kinda out there for pleasure, you know, throw on something small at first and see you know if you catch anything and what you're catching you know and I've caught some sunfish on this already I had that nice sized bass and uh, the crappie you know so they're all kind of liking this so it's kind of telling me that you know right now they're kind of in the mood for plastics so I'm gonna work with the plastics I'll probably throw some crankbaits and some spinners just to test the water see if they are enjoying that presentation as well maybe we can get some bigger fish in the boat but for now I'm going to stick with this until I kind of notice a pattern and then I'm going to upgrade this and we'll go from there. Again, they're getting smaller, so that's not a good sign. It might be time to upgrade it, uh, the size of bait I'm using and see if hopefully we can't catch something a little bigger. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go switch this up for something a little bigger and see if we can get into some bigger fish. All right, so I've switched up my baits, and what I've decided to go with is the old drop shot. I got the little colored drop shot hook. I got this new impulse bait I picked up at Bass Pro Shop not a while back. I'm gonna throw her out there see what we can do. I have a feeling this this might be our ticket. There's a lot of weeds this is gonna keep it just above those weed lines where the fish are sitting and uh, we're gonna try and go out there and catch some stuff. I think we're gonna catch a little bit bigger fish. We're probably still gonna end up catching some sunfish. There's a lot of sunfish and crappie floating around in this lake. I mean it is thick with them so we're probably going to catch some of those but hopefully we can get into some big bass with this too. Took a look 
at it, but before you can grab onto it, this bluegill grab it. Like I said, probably gonna catch a bluegill on this too, but that's okay. We're out fishing. It's all it's all that matters. We're having fun, we're catching fish. It's a good day. Alright, so we moved out deeper. There's less weeds out here, so I throw in a crankbait now and oh, 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 there, we got one right at the boat, right at the boat. Oh, <laughs> it's just a little guy. He got hooked good. Once in the mouth, once in the stomach. Just a little guy, but hey, we'll keep, we'll take her. So what I'm using is this little square bill, bluegill, colored crankbait. You know, like I said, there's lots of sunfish and bluegill swimming around in here. And like I always say, you gotta match the hatch. Well, if that doesn't match the hatch, I don't know what will. So this is a little two inch Matsuzaka crankbait. It's got a rattle. It's a good little bait. We're gonna get her back out there. the deep again, throw in the crankbait. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, sorry about the language. Yeah, got one. Oh, I got something good. What do I got? Ah, uh, it's a pike. Oh, it's a nice one, though. Get the old trusty net out here. All right. Not too bad. fish done off but now the now we're stuck in the net let's pick this fish up all right not too bad it's a pretty nice little pike get him back in the water Catch some more big fish. Not a bad way to start. Out here in the deep with the crankbait. You know, been going around this little grass flat that's out here. It's got some vegetation that is out of the water. I was just throwing up there. On this side, it drops off with a lot of rocks really quickly. We, it goes from about a foot and a half to 11 feet right where we're sitting right now. So there's a nice drop off. So it's a great ambush point. So I was just throwing that bluegill crankbait up there and bringing it back to me. And on like a third or fourth cast from this direction, boom, it hit it. So I'm going to try and get this uh, hook out of this net and then uh, we're gonna get back at her. So we're back in this back in this bay. I, I, uh, since it 
shallower I threw my drop that drop shot back on and second cast with the drop shot and looky what we caught a little bit nicer one all right so caught some crankbaits we caught some with crappie jigs now we caught some with drop shot you know that salad again. Brought the lake with me. <laughs> All right. So we found what they're like in I'm not exactly sure what it is. It could be a northern. It feels, oh no, just a nice little bass sitting out here in a little bit deeper water. Oh, look at that. Right in the side of the mouth. Another little nice drop shot fish. All right, well, needless to say, I think I figured out what they want. They want the, the, small to medium sized plastics you know they like the really subtle finesse of the uh, drop shot so at least we figured something out we're catching them we're catching them let's let this baby go and get back out there and we're not doing too bad we've caught quite a few fish today you know a variety of different species Just been a great day overall. A great day overall. All right. Time to get back out there. All right. We're still out here and we're still drop shotting. And look what we're still catching. I'm still out in the seven to 10 feet of water and we're still getting them out here. It's been a really, really productive day should make for a pretty good video. See you more.
All right, everybody, there you have it. A great day out on the water. That was the first time I had ever been to that lake. You know, all I did was I went on to the Minnesota DNR website and they have this uh, portion of it called a uh, lake finder. So I, I went in there, looked at the map of all the lakes, you know, within 20, 30 minutes of my house, found one that looked good. You know, it wasn't a very big lake. The boat landing was pretty small, so I knew there wasn't going to be a lot of traffic on that lake. You know, there's some houses on that lake. So basically the only other boats I was going to have to deal with were going to be uh, the residential boaters that live on the lake and then, you know, some random uh, people that would show up on that lake. So, so basically I had the whole lake to myself for the most part, which is always nice, especially on a lake that you've never been to. Um, it gives you the freedom to really just go around the lake and do your own thing without having to uh, get in the way of other people, which, you know, that's always a great thing. Uh, I mean, sometimes having other boaters out there is nice because you can see kind of where they're fishing, so you can be like, okay, well, you know, they've probably been to this lake before, so those are some areas that I should try, you know, when they're not fishing them. Um, but yeah, great day on the water. Couldn't be happier. I'm definitely going to go back to that lake and try it again. I'm going to, you know, n now that I know that the drop shot works on that lake really good, I'm probably going to go back there and uh, concentrate most of my day using a drop shot. I'm, obviously, I'll probably throw the crankbait again because, well, anyone who knows me knows I love to throw crankbaits. Crankbaits have done a lot of good for me when I've been out fishing. I have caught a lot of fish on crankbaits and a lot of big fish on crankbaits. So it's kind of my go-to lure. So, you know, at some point I'm going to have to throw a crankbait <laughs> when I'm on the water. Regardless of if the fish are going after it or not, I'm going to try it because you never know. You never know when you're going to get that next really big fish on that crankbait. But today, you know, we started out with the little crappie jig. You know, I noticed that bass were keying in on it. Um, they were small for the most part. I did have the one that uh, I didn't get all the way into the boat as I was reaching down to grab it. It spit the hook and it caught me in the thumb instead. But hey, that happens. You know, no big deal. Wasn't fishing a tournament or anything, so it's not like, you know, that lost fish cost me any money. You know, when you're out there just fishing for fun, there's no reason to get upset about it, you know. It happens. It's going to happen. It's going to happen even when you're out there fishing to make some money, but, you know, you can't let it get to you. Just move on to the next fish. You know, you'll be fine. All right. So after that, you know, I'm like, okay, the bass are keying in on this, so I got to try some more plastics. So what I did is I uh, went to a, the drop shot, which is a really, really easy and good way to catch a variety of species of fish, but bass really, really like drop shot. So what I was doing is I had my, uh, my spinning reel rigged up with the Suffolk Elite 8 pound test. Anyone who knows me knows I throw Suffolk. This is my favorite line on the market. I have yet to find anything that is as good as this. Now, I'm not saying there's not stuff out there that's just as good or better than this, but from my personal experience, this is the best. Maybe someday I'll change my mind, but until that day comes, I will swear by suffix, because this stuff has gotten me through some really weedy, spots and you know I've gotten stuck in on logs and in trees and not had the line break this stuff this stuff is magical you know <laughs> this is like I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. this is just great stuff so buy some you're gonna like it this is a great line now that, that now that my little commercial is over even though you know nobody sponsors me or pays me to do that <laughs> I just want you to know what I found that this stuff is awesome. 
All right, so anyways, my, my pole is rigged up with the Suffix Elite eight pound test. You know, I don't really ever, you know, with this type of uh, presentation, you don't want, you know, eight pounds. That's about as heavy as you want really to get that really natural action. All right, and then on the line, I tie on, and you know, it varies day to day what if I what color I'm using or what. But today I decided on using the fluorescent yellow drop shot hook, and I believe this is a Northland tackle uh, hook. I was looking for you know a variety of hooks in different colors, and uh, Northland had was selling uh, a pack that came with like three or four different colored uh, drop shot hooks. So that's what I bought and it worked pretty well today. You know, I didn't have any issues. Pretty much every fish um, that I got on when I was using this hook, you know, stayed hooked. So it's a pretty good little hook. And I, and I really like that it's colored. You know, a lot of times I feel that extra color on the hook really makes a difference compared to just a, you know, your standard unpainted metal hook. That, that powder coat that's on this hook, it really, really makes a difference. All right, and then after I tie the hook on, I leave about, and it depends on the lake and the depth you're fishing a lot of times and the different, uh, aspects and topography of the lake you know if there's a lot of weeds sometimes i'll go with a a longer piece of line below the hook um if there's you know if the weeds are are pretty short you know i'll shorten it up you, you just got to play with that um uh, depending on the lake here the, the the vegetation it had some decent a decent height and depth to it so I did about a 12 to 15 inches of line below the hook. So what I did is, you know, I tied the hook on. I'd, I'd have the hook tied on, you know, right about here. Then I'd go down, you know, 12 to 15 inches. And I would take and I'd put one of these on. It's a little drop shot weight, and that's what this weight is designed for. It's designed for drop shot. And all you have to do with this is you feed the line right through that little eyelet and <laughs> and then you pull up but I had already uh, tied it on here and broke the you know I had the line scored right there so but you just right there you just pull it up right through the uh, put it through the eyelet and you pull it through there and there you have it you don't have to tie a knot or anything. Sometimes I will, just to ensure that that stays on, but these these are designed to, you know, you just slide it on like that. This way, and with these weights, they're designed so that way if, you, if it gets hung up on something and you pull and, you know, you're pulling, instead of breaking your line, this weight's going to come off and you're going to, you know, you're going to save your lure because, you're you know, your lure's tied way up here. You're just going to lose that, you know, whatever. I think one of these, the weights come in packs of like 10 or something. I, this this one little weight probably costs you a, a cent and a half or something. You know, it's not very much. So, you know, instead of losing, you know, 3 to $4 in lure, you're losing a nickel at most with the lure, which is, you know, it's no big deal. So... That's my setup. You know, that allows you to, you know, toss in there. The weight hits the bottom. And then your bait, it stays suspended, you know, up here where the hook is. And that way, you know, when, you, when you're bouncing it, and you just bounce it really, really small little bounces, you know, you don't really want this weight coming off the bottom too much. You just want to kind of get it to bounce a little bit. And that just allows the bait to flutter. And the fish see that, and they come in and they suck that thing in, and they they are off to the races, man. I mean, that is a great setup. Like I said, it works great in weeds. Um, 
It allows you to punch through some holes, you know, get that bait down there to, to where it needs to be. The fish see it, they come in, hit it, you set the hook, you reel it in, you got yourself a fish. Now, you know, you can use this more than just in the weeds. I've used it in the deeper water. Now, I actually did that today. I, I pulled out, I was in about eight feet of water, uh, 10 feet of water. I used it in six feet of water. You know, there were some rocks. There wasn't really much vegetation growth at the bottom of the lake there. And I caught some fish on it, you know, because you're still doing the same thing. You're getting that down there and you got that bait at, you know, the fish is here. It, the, it can see the bait. It doesn't have to look down for the bait. It sees it. It comes in and hits it. Works, you know, you can, bass really, really like a drop shot setup, but they're not the only thing. Crappies will bite on it. Northerns, it's really good for walleye. Um, any any other sort of panfish, you know, they'll go after it. It's a it's a pretty versatile setup, and you don't really need much tr uh, knowledge or training to be able to throw a drop shot. You know, you throw it on there. You, it's really as simple as tossing it out and just giving your rod a couple little jiggles, and you know, the fish. It doesn't take long. I mean, usually you get a fish on right away. So yeah, that's what you do. You know, you leave 12 inches, 12 to 15 inches is a pretty good uh, length of line between your hook and your weight. That's a pretty versatile for, you know, all situations on the lake. So, that's a, you know, probably, that's probably, that's probably where I'd start with if you've never done drop shot. Do about 12 to 15 inches. Uh, and then, you know, just like any bait, you, you got to adjust it and toy with it until you find the exact setup that works for you on the lake you're fishing. All right, so now we've talked about the weight, we've talked about the hook, we've talked about the line. What was I using for actual bait on my drop shot? Well, I tried to tell you when I was out on the water, but there was a little bit of wind noise in the video today. There was a breeze that would come through every once in a while and it kind of distorted the sound a little bit so I'm sorry about that hopefully next time that won't happen as I you know make more of these videos and get more cameras and upgrade cameras and stuff we should be able to eliminate a lot of that wind noise on those days when we get a little breeze but for this video there's nothing I can do about it we're just gonna have to deal with it you know it is what it is you live, you learn, you move on. All right, so anyways, the bait. What I was using was these impulse reaction baits. You know, it's something new I picked up. I think it was at Bass Pro Shop, but it could have been Cabela's. I'm not exactly sure where I picked these up. I go to all those stores anytime I can, so sometimes I forget where I bought it. Um, but you know, it's Northland Tackle. You know, you can just look up online they have a website, you can go there to find these and purchase them. And so what it is, it's just, it's got a little paddle tail, you know, it's just a little inch and a half, two inch, a little worm. It's, it's clear, but in the middle, there's a green stripe that runs through it. Um, you know, just that, it just gives it enough color so it's visible, uh, but with that clear plastic you know it, it really imitates uh like a bait fish really well you know and as you can see this thing this thing flops all over the place this has some good action to it so when when i was using this in a drop shot a lot of times i'd throw it out there and just the movement of it falling would bring the fish in and they'd hit it before i even had to do anything with it so this is a really good bait it's got it's got these ribs which, you know, they, it helps to give that bait that flexibility and that movement. Um, all I was doing, I'd take the hook and I'd just hook it right through the nose here. So, you know, the, it was only holding on by that. So all of this was free to move. And what the fish were doing, and they weren't really coming up behind it and sucking it in. They were coming at it head on. So... 
when I have this hook in here, just like this, the fish, they were seeing it from the back, but they were coming and they were hitting it right here. They were sucking in right here. So when they sucked to that in, that hook immediately went into the side of their mouth, the roof of their mouth. Most of the fish, they got hooked right in the top of the mouth, just how you want it, you know, right there where it's really tough, so they're going to stay hooked well. So that's a great, great presentation. I'm extremely, extremely happy with these baits, you know. It was something I saw, I'm like, you know what, let me try them. You know, I, I, when I saw them, I'm like, those would be really good for drop shot, and sure enough, they worked great for the drop shot rig. So yeah. Other than that, I don't really have much more to much more to talk about today. It was a great day on the water. Hopefully you all can get out there and have a great day on the water yourself one of these days. Summer's here. You know, kids are all out of school. It's a great time to take your family out on the water, catch some fish, make some memories. You know, kids will take this with them the rest of their lives. They will remember that day that dad took them fishing and they caught, you know, they caught that five pound northern or they caught that four pound bass. You know, that day that you went out fishing with your kids and you went pan fishing and you caught 200 fish. You know, they might not be big fish, but you caught 200 fish that day. Your kids are going to remember that for the rest of their lives. You know, they might not remember what you bought them for Christmas you know, when they were six years old or when they were ten years old. But they're going to remember when you took the time to take them outdoors and spend quality time with them. So make sure you, if you have the chance, you get those kids on the water. We need those kids out on the water. You know, keep them interested. We, we got to have good sportsmen out there, good anglers, you know, doing the right thing doing what's right for nature, keeping our lakes pristine. Because, you know, when you have a pristine lake, you have the opportunity to go out and catch great fish and make great memories. So, I think I'm going to let you all go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to keep making videos. Hopefully next time I won't have the wind interference. That will make for a better video. But, until then, you all take care of yourself. And remember, keep it bassy.